This week, San Diego County opening its first in the state uh, vaccination superstation at Petco Park with the goal of vaccinating some 5,000 people a day. Now the county is looking for medical professionals to volunteer their time and their abilities to give those shots. We're joined by Dr. Jennifer Tudor, Deputy Chief Medical Officer for the county's Health and Human Services Agency. Dr. Tudor, welcome. Thank you so much, Jim. So how big of an effort is this? This is an amazing effort. I mean, we usually vaccinate for influenza about a third or more of our population in San Diego County. So that's a little more than a million people. Now we are looking to vaccinate 3.3 million people in San Diego as fast and as safely as we can. So you're looking for volunteers now. Who would qualify to be a volunteer? We're looking for medical volunteers to help us at our county sites right now for vaccination. We always have a great array of medical volunteers, the Medical Reserve Corps, who helps us with all hazards. But right now we are looking for any licensed or um, student with supervision person who it's in their scope of practice to give vaccinations. So not only do we have our traditional physicians and um, nurses, physician assistants and nurse practitioners, but we also have an expanded scope of practice for dentists to give vaccinations, for paramedics, pharmacists and pharmacy technicians and so forth. So we're looking for anyone, even if you're retired, but if you have an active license and it's in your practice to give vaccines, we are looking for you to help volunteer. And we do, we want to assure folks that whoever is going to be giving you the shot is qualified to do so. You mentioned that students could do this but we're not talking about somebody that's just trying for the first time to give a shot, right? We're talking about people that are well qualified, have done this many times before. Absolutely. When I say students, we're talking medical students, nursing students, and those are people under the supervision of their um, of the physicians, of the nurses, and so forth. So we also have a training for anyone coming into the Medical Reserve Corps to give vaccines. We have a training. We do all of the license verification, the background, and everything. So we assure that whoever is providing and administering vaccinations is absolutely qualified. Safety is first. And how are you doing in terms of people coming forward to say, yes, I want to, you know, volunteer my time? We have been so grateful. We've had hundreds of people just in this past week volunteer. We had 1,600 Medical Reserve Corps volunteers to start with, even before coronavirus, because this program has been going on for almost 20 years. We have 3,500 medical volunteers already, and as I said, hundreds more volunteering. So it takes us a little bit of time just to ensure the background, verify licenses and so forth, and then we get people into training, and then they will be helping helping us in our county vaccination sites. As you said, so many are ramping up, but we have different hospitals that are assisting. Um, you talked about in Coronado, we have the Petco Park, we have at Rady Children's. So all of those places also are looking for volunteers to assist. All right, and we were talking earlier, you're not necessarily in a position to speak to the program as a whole and why we're at a particular number in terms of vaccination sites and that kind of thing. But in general, you can speak to how quickly we are ramping up. Yes, I think we're doing a phenomenal job. Um, every county in the nation is working so hard and we all have unique challenges. For us, the county, the size of the state of Connecticut, um, we are really using all the tools that we have learned. And as we go, Petco Park, the, the super station, all of our partners, and it's that um, community partnership with our county and all of our municipalities that are making things really great here. But it is operations to make sure we can get vaccines in arms. Um, the different vaccines have different storage capacities. We have all of our healthcare workers who are working day and night, keeping people alive, keeping people safe, taking care of people during this tremendous pandemic. And then to find licensed people to give vaccines in addition to that at these events that may be vaccinating 5,000 people a day. Uh, that's really why we're looking for volunteers to help us because our our workforce is doing a tremendous job with our sickest, but we want to get these vaccines into arms to prevent up to 95% of COVID disease by getting your vaccine. All right. What do the qualified folks need to do that would like to volunteer their time to do this? 
the qualified folks need to let us know that they want to help. And so it's that website, the San Diego Medical Reserve Corps.com. Um, or if you get confused, you can go to this website, the coronavirus sd.com, as I lean over here a little bit and, <laughs> and show the website behind there. And all the links are there to volunteer. But please, if you have a license, if you want to help, you can do just two four-hour shifts a month, you'll get your vaccine because we're vaccinating the vaccinators. You'll get the training. And um, because you're part of this larger medical reserve corps, then there is that um, protection and support um, because we are part of the national response for emergencies and disasters. And so please go ahead, register, let us know you want to help. We're excited to have you. Dr. Tudor, thank you so much. And Dr. Jennifer Tudor is Deputy Chief Medical Officer for the County's Health and Human Services Agency. We do appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Stay safe.